As we exit the city of Jerusalem and travel towards Jericho and the Dead Sea, we encounter Bethany. This is where Martha, Mary and Lazarus, all deeply loved by Jesus, lived. Today around 17,000 people live in this village, the majority of Muslim religion. The small Christian community is formed by 30 families. Amongst the most important places in Bethany for Christians, there is the Church of St. Lazarus. It is built on the ruins of a Byzantine church and designed by the Italian Antonio Barluzzi. The absence of windows recalls a funerary monument. The light filtering through the glass in the dome represents the resurrection of Lazarus and Jesus. The mosaics trace the three episodes of the Gospel referring to Bethany. And here we meet Randa, a local Christian. It is a miracle to work here, especially because I never worked before. The Lord has given me the opportunity to work in this place, and this is His will. I feel that being here is a specific message from God. Not far from this place is Lazarus's sepulchre, the cave closed by a large stone as a cover, quoted by the Holy Scriptures. It is to this place that Jesus came close and said, Lazarus, rise and come forth. John 11.43 Another holy place venerated by Christians is the Orthodox School of Bethany complex. According to tradition, where this small chapel is today is the place where Jesus met Martha and Mary before the resurrection of Lazarus. Inside is a stone on which the inscription in Greek reads, Here, for the first time, Martha and Mary heard the Lord speak of resurrection. Here, before this miracle happened, what happened? Like, Jesus Christ met the sisters of St. Lazarus, Martha and Mary, and both of them. He gave them the words that hope, the words of hope for each person of Christian, hope of the eternal life. And he said to them, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And we are alive people. We live the resurrection every Sunday. Here are the remains of an ancient road on which Jesus probably walked. And there is a lot of tourists from all over the world, Brazil, Italy, Greece, and even from the United States. They came just to walk on the steps, to feel the steps of Jesus Christ, to say, Jesus, we want to walk in the same way you walk too. And show us the way, because you are the way, you are the truth, you are the light. Living in the land of the friends of Jesus is a privilege and a grace. We must enlighten through the light of Jesus, show our love for others, and live in peace with them, despite any differences among us. Actually, we feel ourselves as we also friends of Jesus Christ, too. We want to be his friends. We want to be so close to him.